What's up, flamethrowers? It's me, Flame the Dragon Hog here, and welcome back to another Would You Rather video. Now, as I told you guys in my last Would You Rather video with sticks, I'm going to be bringing in another character from my favorite YouTube Sonic series, Super Sonic X Universe. Now, for those of you who have been paying attention to my Would You Rather videos in the past, I have been playing Would You Rather with the three goddesses that are sort of in a uh, shared marriage with their version of my brother, Sonic, which would be Susano, the Lynx, Amaterasu, the Fox, and Tatsumi, the Wolf. So, today, I'm bringing in another girl that's part of that shared marriage. In fact, she's of the Hub Upper Classmen. She's one of the, uh, Seven, she's one of the members of the Council of Seven who's been around for generations. So, without further ado, please welcome the first female to ever face off against Sonic. Which is, which, so please give a big round of applause for Kami Metsubi, the goddess of plants. Now, before you guys ask, no, this is not Cosmo. This is a Cedarin that's almost like Cosmo, but different. By any chance, uh, Kami, are you re related to Cosmo, or do you even know her? Um, no, not really. Um, I have heard of her. So, what's she like? Oh, well, for starters, she's a Cedarin, just like you, and she can control plants just like you, but she can only control vines. You can control you can control trees, which is just amazing. Oh well, maybe after a day with me, I can improve her um tree moving abilities or plant controlling. Yeah. So um, do you think you can tell my flamethrowers about how you got mixed up in this shared marriage with um your version of Sonic? Ah, oh, Sonic. Gladly. Well, you see. Me and the other council, me and the rest of the council, we plan to destroy the earth. We plan to destroy the earth. One at a time, we faced off against Sonic. I was one of the first females to go up against him. So, when we fought, he sure did give me a run for my money. <laughs> and, he sure, and he sure was strong as well. I lost, though. But, so... So, after when we fought, after when we fought, he somewhat, I started having visions of me and him together. And so, I just embraced it. Every now and then, we always went, every now and then, in the bush, me and him. Okay, so, um, basically what you're trying to say is you are part of this shared marriage with him. Yes, exactly. Okay. Well, um, let's get started with this, uh, game of Would You Rather, shall we? Have you heard of it before? Yes, I have, actually. Um, Susano, Amaterasu, and Tatsumi told me about it. Um, can you explain the rules? Gladly. So, basically, Would You Rather is a multiple-choice game where you have to pick between two options, and with the option that you pick, the people that that agree with you in the percentage, you get a point. But all that doesn't matter. It's the last question that matters. Oh, well, sounds simple enough. Shall we begin? Yes, we shall. Anyway, if you guys want to see more Would You Rather videos, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And also, let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to bring on the second goddess that's mixed, that, uh, the second goddess or member of the council that Sonic is with. So, without further ado, let's get on with this. Uh, you ready, Kami? Yes, I'm ready. Alright, let's head on over to Would You Rather. Okay, heading over there. Alright, we're here. Ooh. This looks interesting. Yes, it does. Okay, so let's do this. All right, first question. Would you rather produce farts that smell good or farts that have no smell at all? Ew, 
that's disgusting. Yeah, what a disgusting way to start off this video. Anyway, you start. Which one would you pick? Obviously, farts that has no smell at all. I mean, I'm a lady. I don't fart like that. And plus, I do mine sight and private. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. So, yeah, farts that don't have any smell at all. Well, looks like 55% agreed with us. Good, because that's just disgusting. Yeah, again, disgusting way to start this game off. Anyway, would you like to read this question? Sure. Um, would you rather be th be hungry at all times or be thirsty at all times? Oh, I'm always thirsty. I mean, I am a plant after all, and I do need food as well. But if I had to choose one, I would have to say be hungry, um, be thirsty all the time. Like I said, I'm a plant. Yeah, well, if I had to choose, I would have to be, th I would have to be, uh, thirsty all the time, too. Because sometimes we can go days without food. Sometimes we can go days without food. But we do need sometimes water, though. So, pick be thirsty? Yes. Okay, let's see. Well, looks like 61% agree with us. See? Even though food is good for us, but we need water to survive as well. Yep, that's true. Anyway, let's see. Uh, would you rather eat grilled hot dogs or eat grilled hamburgers? Oh, hot dogs for me. Yeah, <laughs> after all, I gotta have my chili dogs whether they're grilled or not. Okay, let's see. Wow, looks like... People would rather have hamburgers over hot dogs. Eh, I don't really blame them. Nothing beats a good burger. <laughs> um, I never actually had a burger before. Oh, then you ought to try my wife Sarah's delicious cheeseburgers. They're so good. Hmm, I might consider. Okay then, um, would you like to read the next question? Sure. Uh, would you rather have to eat poison ivy or... A smell or a small carton oh, this is a carton a small colony of fire ants oh my gosh um I would rather eat the fire ants because just touching poison ivy well definitely poison you duh and plus, I'm pretty sure that can kill you if you eat it. Then again, fire ants, they bite you. Um, what would you pick? Um, I'm a plant, so either one can still kill me. But then again, like I said, I am a plant. So I guess I'll have to say poison ivy. I mean, even if I eat it, it still won't hurt me. Okay, then. So I guess I'm picking the small colony of ants. Okay, then. Let's see. Ooh, looks like 59% agree with you. Hmm. So, well, I guess they don't want to get... So I guess they don't want to have ants in their stomach or get eat or get their uh, insides bitten from the inside out, right? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, let's see. Next, uh, would you rather... Sorry. Uh, would you rather be surrounded by people who brag all the time or be surrounded by people who complain all the time? Ooh, that's a hard one. Um, honestly, I will be around people who brag all the time. I can't stand people who complain. It just irritates me. Yeah, honestly, it irritates the crap out of me too. I don't like complainers. So, I guess be around people that brag. Wow, okay, so I guess people want to have their heads spinning from the complainers. Wow, okay. Next question. Would you like to read it? Um, sure. Uh, would you rather get the silent treatment 
or hurl words at each other when upset. Um, I would rather have the, I would rather do the silent treatment because when you're arguing with somebody, you might end up saying something you know that you can't take back. Yes, that's true. Like for one thing, one time I argued with one member of the council and let's just say he didn't speak to me too for a whole week. Oh, what did you say? Um, let's just say his, let's just say it involved his elemental abilities. Oh, man. And that's like his livelihood, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, so I guess I would rather get the silent treatment. Yes, me too. Alright, let's see. Wow, okay, so it looks like a lot of you would rather just... Okay, you know what? If you guys want to argue over something, then you guys go ahead. Alright, next question. Uh, would you rather... Um... Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna skip... I'm just gonna skip this one. Uh, would you rather swallow gum accidentally or have it stuck in your hair? Yikes. Uh, having gum in your hair? That's... E having gum in your hair? That's horrible. Yes, and sometimes I heard that when mortals get gum stuck in their hair, they have to get it cut out. Is that true? Yeah, that is true. Um, I would rather swallow gum accidentally. I mean... Even though they say that you're not supposed to swallow gum. But, what's the big, but, hello, think about it. It's gum. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, let's see. Wow, okay, so 78% would rather have it stuck in their hair. Good luck having your head shaved off, people. <laughs> uh, excuse the noise in the background, guys. Uh, that's my chow in the background growling. Be quiet, flame chow. Aww, I wish I had a fl I wish I had a chow of me. Hmm, maybe there might be a uh, Kami Matsubi chow around here. I can probably find you one. Oh, that'd be nice. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, would you rather get famous for doing something stupid or staying unknown all your life? Um, I would rather stay unknown all my life, because I know being famous could be cool and all, but honestly, sometimes when people do get famous, sometimes that fame can go to their heads. Uh, what about you, Kami? Um, I would rather, um, be famous for doing something stupid. I mean, I am pretty famous. And the stupidest thing I done was challenged a superpowered hedgehog, who you know can easily kick my behind. Ooh, that sounds so kinky. I love it. Okay, uh, can you please stop daydreaming about my alternate brother? Oh, I'm um, sorry. Um, so yeah, be famous for doing something stupid. Yeah, well, I'm picking stay unknown. Okay, well, it looks like 63% agree with you. Okay. Well, 31% would rather stay unknown. But, hey, look at the bright side, guys. At least you'll be known by your friends and family. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, uh, would you like to read this one? Sure. Uh, would you rather play a game with, um... Um... Who are these people? Yeah, I don't know these people either, so let's just skip this one. Uh, would you like to read this one? Yes, uh, would you rather dance under the moon or dance in the pitch darkness? Dancing in the moonlight! Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, what was that? Oh, it was just a song that, that came up as soon as you said under the moon. <laughs> anyway, uh, as for me, I would be dancing under the moonlight. I mean, I just find it so romantic if I'm dancing with my wife. <laughs> And besides, if I'm dancing in the pitch black, I won't be able to see anything. Yeah, um, 
Yeah, I would rather dance in the moonlight too. Because I do like to dance. Yeah, one little thing, you know, one little thing about us goddesses, we do like to dance. Just ask Amaterasu. Yeah, so dance under the moonlight. Dance under the moonlight. So 53% agree with us. Smart people. And you guys have exquisite taste if you guys have a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Anyway, uh, let's make this the last question. Okay. Um, would you rather have a high IQ or have a high EQ? Um, honestly, I would rather have a high IQ. It's really good to have, it's a good to be really, really smart. Um, I would rather have a high IQ as well. I mean, I'm the goddess of the, I'm the goddess of plants, and I have been around since the beginning of the universe, so I do pretty much know almost everything. Oh, interesting. So, have an high IQ? Yes. Okay, looks like 56% agree with us. Interesting. Well, I know I said this one was going to be the last one. How about we just go for one more? Okay. Um, let's read this one together. Fine. Uh, would you rather be a dragon who breathes, uh, glitter? Or, or be a pink unicorn that poops fire? Wow, okay. Well, I'm already part dragon. And I do kind of breathe fire. Uh, well, I don't really breathe fire. I sometimes... Well, okay, guys, here's a little known fact about one of my abilities. I can eat fire to to re-energize myself. Which is kind of cool, huh? <laughs> anyway, um, I would rather be a dragon that breathes glitter. I mean, sure, I mean, I have a daughter named Amber. That would be really, really adorable. You're such a great father thinking about your daughter like that. Thank you. Uh, what about you? Um, I would rather be a pink unicorn that, uh, poops fire. And why? Well, just look at me. Already, I may not be a unicorn, but I am quite adorable like one. But I can be dangerous. Yeah, that is kind of true. You are cute looking, but... You can be dangerous. Trust me, I seen what you can do in the show. I seen what you can do in the animation. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to mess with you, especially being on your bad side. Yes, exactly. And did you just call me cute back there? Uh, yes, I did. I call it like I see them. Hey, if I say something's cute, I, I mean, if I think something's cute, I'm going to say it's cute. Whether if it's a person, an animal, or whatever... I'm, if I think it's cute, I'm going to call him cute. Oh well, thank you. I think you're pretty cute, too. Yeah, well, <laughs> my wife does think I'm pretty cute as well. Aww, she's really lucky. Thank you. Anyway, uh, so I would rather be a dragon who breathes glitter. Unicorn that poops fire. Okay, let's see. Oh, looks like I win this one. 58% would rather be a dragon that breathes glitter. Aw. Aw, yet again I lose. Aw, uh, don't worry. You did really well. In fact, hey, how about this? I have a great idea. You can go back to your universe and tell Amaterasu, Suzano, T Tasumi... And all the other goddesses and goddess and all the other goddesses and gods, you can come on over to the modern era and move in with us. Really? Sure. I mean, it can't be that bad having extra friends here. And plus, I'm pretty sure my mom, Queen Alina, would definitely have <laughs> some new subjects to look after. Especially, in, especially if you guys are going to be teaching my friends some new tricks. Well then, it's a deal. Okay, well guys, that wraps up this episode. This wraps up this game of Would You Rather. So, did you have fun? Yes, I did. And thank you for bringing me on here finally. I know, it's been a I know. I've been trying to get you guys on here for I don't know how long. But at least I got you here. 
anyway if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and a comment down below and as i said in the beginning let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to bring on the second goddess that's part of the council and is involved with the uh, marriage with their version of sonic uh anything you like to say before we leave kami matsumi all i have to say is don't ever stick a thorn in other people's plans I honestly don't know what that means, but that's a great way to end off the video. Anyway, this is Flame the Dragon Hog and Kami Matsubi signing out. Later, flamethrowers. Later, rosebuds. Hey, that's my that's my brother's wife's in, in outro. Oh, sorry, Amy. <laughs> anyway, later, flamethrowers.